What are you about to go do? We're gonna hike the long trail. Well, we're not doing anything. <laughs> what are you about to do? <laughs> we're gonna hike the long trail faster than everybody else, at least. Literally. That's the plan. Literally faster than anybody ever has. Oh gosh. I am Ben Feinson, and I grew up in Richmond, Vermont. The uh, long trail is really special to me, and I hike a lot of the long trail. I, I, I didn't say that very well. The long trail is very special to me, and I hike on it a lot. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, go. Huzzah! We're off. Woohoo! Go Woo! get them, Ben! I first hiked the Long Trail in 2010 uh, with my friend Owen. It's one of my very favorite places in the whole world. We got running to do. <laughs> uh, hello, McGruff here. We are just starting our first day. Feeling good, morale is high, conditions are good, weather forecast is incomparably optimistic. And we just went over Jay Peak. The way that we had designed this hike, we wanted day one to be a solid win. You know, like we had, it was slightly less mileage in the next couple days, but the goal was to get to Johnson, Vermont, feeling really fresh. Oh yeah, oh baby. It's about yeah, to get good. real. I'm glad you're here for this. Thanks y'all, see you soon. See you soon. Yeah. See you in two hours. We are approaching what looks like the summit of Belvedere. I'm here with Nick, who is assisting and pacing for this section. How you feeling, Ben? How are those legs holding? Oh, we are feeling a little, a little tired, but still pretty fresh, still pretty optimistic. The ass blaster was a game changer. Uh, we called it the ass blaster because it blasts <laughs> the ass. Um, next question. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the Theragun, which are very expensive, and I've only ever seen one being used um, in a like Solomon documentary by Courtney Dowalter. So, um, you know, our Lord and Savior Courtney Dowalter, may her legs never tire. And so. When Nick shows up with a Theragun and he's like, oh, your hamstring's effed up, do you want to use this? Uh, yeah, radical. Hello. I'm here with the indefatigable Maya Buckingham and Prem Brulee. What up? Who are my light and shining stars. We, uh, we're at about 37 miles on the day. Two-ish hours ahead of the schedule we designed, which is very good. We got about 10 miles to the end of the day, so maybe 12, I don't know. Oh my goodness gracious, Rima, look at that, oh. We gonna climb all those mountains. We gonna climb them. We're and soon, <laughs> and tomorrow, <laughs> and we're moving. And we're. Oh, this is so freaking gorgeous. Being a crew member is similar to like you know what they tell you on an airplane that the only way you can help other people is to first put your own mask on and then you can help other people. I'm gonna make sure I finish this pasta salad right now because that's what's best for the crew. That way when people come in I can help them finish their pasta salad. Oh yeah. Hey. Nice, dude. Over two hours ahead of schedule. Two hours, six minutes. Is there a spot up there or should we stay here? No, we should go up there. Yeah. Continue with it if you want. Heck yeah, let's, let's um, get a here. little more water. So here we are, end of the first day. There's the gate, bonus mile, point two. 
Yeah, so we're 52 for today, which is rad. I haven't it. sat down in like eight hours. <laughs> Treat. Yeah, treat. I know, such a treat. Oh, there we go. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Basically, the rough goal was to have like five hours of downtime every night to do recovery, eating, sleeping, and that would give us about three hours of sleep. Me too, baby. We got like more than four hours of sleep. Feeling good. Whew. How are you feeling, Prem? Excellent. How are you feeling? Honestly, feeling pretty damn good. Day two got a little harder, but day two is always going to be like one of those kind of test days where you do, um, it was just going to be the hardest terrain of the entire long trail all on day two. And that was like a really big measure of whether we had it in us or not. We're transitioning from Whiteface to Madonna. It is not a good section of trail for people who want to go fast. Like Ben. It is still beautiful, but damn, it was tricky. Yes. Yeah, so we left at 305 from West Sediment Road in Johnson, 1.2 miles ahead of schedule also. Um, it was slow going up Whiteface, but we, we cooked right up it. A uh, little sketchy going down the back side of it, but we still kept good pace. Um, flew right up Madonna, and then bombed down <laughs> today uh, again. Easily half hour ahead of schedule on top of starting a half hour early. That section from White Face to Madonna is good if you like doing like 400 foot climbs where you actually gain a thousand feet somehow. And then also just like bouldering backwards in the middle of the trail. Yeah, Ben! Yeah, dude! Get Come on ben. in! So um, how far is it to the next thing? It is, Taylor? It is nine miles to Taylor nine and, miles then, and then 14 to route two. So we need to plan what you want for the next nine and then what you want Nick to bring in. All right. Follow the way, good? Yeah, follow the way, please. You'll be up there and this way. Uh, Great. Okay. <laughs> I'll be right behind you guys. See ya. Just yeah. need to oh, oh. Double check my, my ducks. Okay. Oh, this is like such a beautiful section. Sorry, I'm getting the shot. <laughs> This is what we love best about Matt Mansfield right here. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> Gonna take a ride in to the Alpine Zone. Ride in to the Alpine Zone. Rob finished in 27 hours. Oh, hell yeah. Our buddy Rob, who's gonna join us shortly, just did one of the most difficult and scary things he's done in many years, which is a 90 mile solo canoe effort. Insanely difficult. Um, just finished this morning or last night. Woo! Magic! Dude, nice work. Hello everyone, we are in the Duxbury Long Trail lot. No, we're not. Uh, it's about one. Wait, 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 start over. <laughs> we're two. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, this is take two. It's been a long day. We are in the Long Trail lot on route two. Uh, it's about 1.30. Uh, we arrived here about 30 minutes ago. We are just waiting for Ben to come in. Hopefully within the next hour, hour and a half. No one really knows. Where's the, where's the rest of the crew? <laughs> the rest of the crew, we don't know who the rest of the crew is. We thought we were going to be on time and turns out we're early by about 45 minutes. Why are we early? We're early. <laughs> we're early. Uh, we're early to this because we missed a drop earlier because we took a side trail thinking it was going to save time. Uh, so we're making up for it right now by being aggressively early. Yeah, we missed, we missed our first drop. So we get to the intersection and it is 6.03. We check the tracker and it says 5.59 at the top of Madonna. And we're like, what? How did that happen? So we're sending it back at Madonna. We're like, there's no way that they're moving faster than we are. Like, we'll definitely catch them. And then I get to Sterling and I check the tracker again and they're at Spruce Peak. And so I get to the fork of the Sterling Pond Trail and the Long Trail and Prem calls. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. Like, are you guys okay? And he's like, oh yeah, we're fine. Ben actually said he didn't really need you anyway. And it was the only missed drop, but you gotta have one. You gotta have one. Yeah. The whole trail is roughly 65,000. 
and since the elevation is more concentrated in the northern sections, um, especially that central northern section, it may have been close to a 20,000 for day over like 60 miles. It was an absolute beast, man. It, we had a beautiful time. Mount Mansfield was just unreal. Like, nobody at the top. It's just flowing. You know? Dude, it's flowing. It's flowing. Oh, next one. Whoop, whoop. Bamforth is like uh, one of our favorite trails. We like to joke about how it's either our favorite trail in the entire world or our least favorite trail in the entire world, which are both true at different times. And it's one of the longest consistent climbs on the long trail. It's about six miles uh, pretty consistently uphill. But my trail running friends uh, joined me as they have many times before and we powered up, which was awesome. Ben fights in here at the clearing up on Campbell's Hump, 37 hours and 15 minutes into his his that last, FKT. That last point four miles up to that clearing on the Bain Forge Ridge is a religious experience. I appreciate you, Prem. This is a great day. This is such a great day. Um, ben is about to be met by his co-worker, Jesse, in about two miles, so that's really cool. Extra batteries in with your pills? I have extra batteries. We don't know where they We are. just had this conversation. Oh, great, great. Yeah. We were like... A little headlamp issue. Yeah. Here, you want to take mine? I'll take that one. Are you sure? Yeah. It's like... It's, it's, a, it's, it's totally okay. It's totally... Yeah. We can... Totally effed. So, we're using the backup for the backup. The, the headlamp has a fundamental flaw. That shit the bed. Yeah, it is, it is actively shitting the bed. He and I were both just a wee bit in trouble there. We had multiple headlamps on the hike get fresh batteries and immediately dim. Just kind of had some sort of glitch where they were draining batteries. And this happened to both Jesse and I, where both of our headlamps dimmed. All right. Well, let's keep, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Huzzah. Good. We're sitting at App Gap right now. It's uh, nine. 9, 9.45 and we got a text 10 minutes ago, or I did, when my phone turned, I got service, saying that they are, he and Jesse, they're losing light fast, and they need people to bring in lights. Since I'm out tomorrow, I'll go. So we had banked some time earlier in the day, and by the end of the day, we were back close to our original schedule, which is fine. It just meant that I wasn't going to get extra sleep that night. And so knowing that I wasn't going to bank an extra hour of sleep was a little bit of a psychological hit. Woo! Nice work! Woo oh boy, oh boy. It said low battery, and then I put new batteries in it. Yep. Immediately, like, dimmed them. It said low battery. So there's, like, a short, and it's draining. It's probably, like, shorting out the battery and, like, leaking. Jesse's died. Mine, I thought, so mine takes triple A's, and I grab, oh. I grab my girlfriend's, and hers takes this like rechargeable battery, and I stupidly I didn't check yeah. it. It's a good um, Wet gloss. So that was silly. Yeah, the light was really dim, and we were moving way slower than I yeah, wanted to. I just am like, a little worried about moving fast enough at night, especially Tuesday night. As I descended Molly Stark, I rounded this corner and saw a stump that was in the exact profile silhouette of a murderer. <laughs> so, I, and so I just had that, like, I literally jumped, and then as soon as I got this really unrealistic thing in my mind of like, what if that message came from a guy? Who oh my tied gosh! In Birch Glen, That's and I'm gonna have to go in there and fight them. I'm I'm ready, but am I ready? <laughs> but. And I was feeling a really rough night, too. I was feeling super rough. And I woke up feeling rough, and I was a little bit worried. <sighs> a little more tired than when I started. Uh, my mouth is pretty raw. I'm losing my voice. My left hamstring is a little sore. My feet are in awesome shape. I have, like, no blisters. Like, a couple a couple rubbing points, but... Duct tape, I think my it's uh, tape, maybe. good news. Uh, ben got three and a half hours of sleep, laid down for four and a half. Um, 
59 mile day today. And by the end of the day, we'll be at the base of Kennington or Route 4. Yo, how's it going, y'all? That's to you guys. Oh, oh. <laughs> good. <laughs> um, my original plan was to have pacers for like half or maybe two thirds of this hike. I've had pacers for almost the whole freaking time, which is rad as hell. This community of people was just like, hey, we'd like to run, please, and just are hiking constantly. It's amazing. I'm passing off to Jesse. Just hung out uh, with Maya for three hours, and that was super fun. Maya's positivity is infectious, and Jesse brought me this breakfast sandwich, which is basically my god at this point. <laughs> What's also exciting is uh, we're roughly very roughly halfway through the long trail right now. Woo! So, uh, yeah, let's get it. He's crushing it. It was really cool to see him out there, super psyched. He's super strong, and uh, I mean, we've been super lucky with the weather. The trail was like pretty dry for the long trail. That was just so fun. Thrown. Thank you, Jesse. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> that was rad. You crushed it. Love it. You crushed it, dude, and yeah. and we got here before 2.40. Yeah. Hey, it's 3 o'clock. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll see you later. Yeah. 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 The ultimate snack for ultra runners and crew and pacer are Richmond Market cookies. All of us go in there and we find the most undercooked ones. And, uh, them very much, so. Woo -woo -woo. Woo -woo. Yeah, hey. yeah, he's stoked, feeling happy. He's cruising along. All right, Woo. love you guys. Woo -woo. Love you. Have a good one. Looking so good. Back here we're at the lot, um, the Long Trail slash AT lot in Killington. We are doing a lot of important crew things. Um, for instance, we had to level the van. Um, and the way to do that is we have these nice levelers here and you kind of just drive the van up um, until it's level. And how is it, do we know it's level? Well, we have this tool, Ben's a carpenter, if you didn't know that. And Maya, on her very first try, got it smack dab level. Literally one acceleration onto the block. Explain your role too, because it's important. Oh, my role in this was to direct her. Um, I told her to move forward, and she said okay. And then we got that. Uh, yeah, so I just did um, uh, Brandon Gap to David Logan Shelter with Ben. It started off really good, and then like a light switch, we just started going south mentally. It was the first section that he went slower than his anticipated time, and I think that with him being 15 minutes ahead of schedule, really, really uh, hit him hard. Woo -woo! Damn, that's some sexy legs. If it goes well, it's all me. If it goes poorly, it's all Prem. We all know this. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of a scramble to get to bed. Um, ben got into bed, and then we just did a little bit of cleanup, and I hopped in Rob's car and slept for two hours and um, got up to make Ben breakfast and Ben decided he wasn't hungry and wanted to get on the trail. Um, so I was like, sweet, we have now an extra half hour to sleep and the van is open. And I get into the van and I close my eyes and all of a sudden I hear some, some raindrops and all of a sudden they get pretty hard. And I was like, oh, you know, it's, I'm sure it's a passing shower. Ben left at four o'clock this morning it started pouring, and it's been pouring for the past two hours. We just got a message from Prem saying to bring food. I mean, to bring warm clothes. And uh, so Teresa is going to do a speedy ascent of Killington from Cold River, the next road crossing. So yeah, we're prepping for that right now. A mile up Killington, it started pouring. A bent started getting really really cold. Um, he was nervous that he was potentially going to get hypothermic if he stopped too long. So I just kind of kept him moving, reached out to our friend Teresa and asked her to come in from the other side with some warm clothes. 
we got fresh clothes on Ben and just gave him his hip belt with water bottle and just sent him on his way. It was just mildly demoralizing for sure because we lost about a half hour over our, our prediction for that section. And it was kind of a, a sign that the trail would not be dry until we finished. I'm just gonna plan on like basically Running. losing time every split. Well, we're gonna have to speed up these brakes. We're gonna become aggressive. <laughs> Hummus, avocado, cheese. Nice. On bread. Who made it? This guy. This guy right here. The teacher doesn't even realize the friends are. I'm sampling it to make sure it's good. And why are you doing that? Because I, I put my oxygen mask on first to take care of myself to make sure others can be helped. afternoon of day four and um, physically we're in kind of rough shape. I couldn't sleep because my knees were hurting so today we're occasionally falling asleep while hiking just a little bit and now we're hiking through a, a mud river full of boulders which is standard fare. At some point little issues with feet are going to just be left to fester. So, yeah, we're looking forward to 24 hours of getting brutalized and hiking with my friends. Hey, this is weird. That's a nice little bit you can edit in anywhere. Oh, perfect. Just like this one. Ben's killing it. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to come down to the, you know, his planning, which he's executed well. See, I'm pausing between them for editing. Is that working? <laughs> You're Sorry. doing great. I'm not doing what you asked. Doing... Ben is in the van, 17 minute nap. Um, he's definitely feeling it, body and mind. But this is this next 12 miles, I think. Um, I'm really gonna have to push him. Yeah, body right. falls mind, baby. Get ready for some stories body the, uh... falls the mind. I would got this. Mad Tom's coming to get us. Mad Tom has haunted us since 2010, and we have come back to slay him. <laughs> we did not succeed. We did not succeed. <laughs> Mad un- Tom. He is unbeatable. <laughs> Mad Tom fucked us right up, and he almost ended our hike. I was really excited to to join Ben for some miles at Griffith Lake, and uh, when I when I got up to the top of Baker Peak um, to join him and Owen, uh, it looked like he was having. A pretty rough time, um, but it wasn't anything super shocking. You know, I, I think we've all been there during long efforts where you're at a low point and you're just kind of trudging through. Like, I wasn't very worried about him, but yeah. So I, I, I left at the end of that section and, and hiked out, and I was. I remember thinking like, okay, he's having a low point, but he's moving really well, and I think he is doing fine, and he's going to make it. Hmm. Hello. Um... Update: We are on um, Peru, the Peru, uh, Peru Sydney, Styles, right? Peru, between... Mount Peru and Styles, and um, uh, slogging through ankle deep mud for many, many miles. And uh, we, um, I made the call to end the hike, so I figured we'd share that information. It's been a emotional few miles between me and my best friend Owen, who's holding the camera, and. The trail means a lot to us. It means a, a lot to both of us. And this has been an experience that me and all of my all of my best running friends who you've met are uh, never going to forget. Um, so instead of going about it and explaining the reasoning now, um, we've gained a million 
beautiful things from this hike and learned a million interesting things and had the time of our lives. So here we are. Um, so it's Tuesday at, at, at 5 of 7. Um, we're at, we're at Mad Tom Notch. It is, uh, significant for Ben. It's just, it's hilarious. Mad Tom. Mad Tom. Um, and, uh, I just got a call from Ben. He's, uh, about a mile from Peru Peak. He asked me to hike out with him. Uh, it's like a three mile hike out. And he said he was, he was done. That this was, this is where he drops. Um, I woke up the squad. And everybody, including Ben's dad, is on their way out right now. Lance had the great idea that I stay behind, and we send the message to Ben that Prem's fucking got his Prem's got his clothes, his running clothes on, and he's going with you. And that's just that's what is happening. Um, we 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 knew that there would be lows. I I knew at some point he was gonna come in and be like, I'm done. And as a crew, it's not just about the fun stuff like popping blisters and, and feeding feeding your person. It's about pushing them on when they don't wanna 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 go on anymore. So we're gonna we're gonna make it happen. Hopefully, this is not not the last check-in I do here. So I got to the last night and just get to a section where I get to an energy lull and just fatigue and pain in my body that I had not experienced yet, and it it seemed irreparable. I was hoping that some crew members would hike out from Mad Top Notch to meet us so we could have a moment on the trail together where we wrap up the hike and maybe process it together. Um, and sure enough, out of the woods sprints Lance Parker like a madman. His eyes are on fire. He's staring me down. He is half naked. He is covered in sweat. And he just grabs me by the shoulders, panting. I was not ready for this, and he says, take off your shirt. I was like, Lance, I, I don't want to do this. And he says, take off your shirt. And I realized that he is asking me to show my, my tattoo, which is the long trail, so that he can remind me why we're out here. And he's describing that the trail means much more to us than a fastest known time. And now Maya and Teresa show up. I was thinking, okay, we're going to have a big hug and we're going to process this quit together. And they just weren't having it. I was like, okay, so there's some conspiracy here where they won't listen to me and they just want to keep hiking. And so everyone just keeps hiking. And I'm trying to have a moment. And it's very frustrating because they wouldn't, they wouldn't have that moment with me. They just kept hiking. And as we're hiking down and everyone is laughing and chuckling and joking like nothing's happened. Maya hands me a, a, a phone and it has uh, earbuds attached to it and says, hey, we got something from a friend that we want you to listen to. So I put the headphones in and what Maya has brought up the trail for me is a recording of love, encouragement, and kind words from a huge number of people in my community. Woo! Go Ben! Ben! You're out there doing it! This is Karin. Hey Ben, it's Dave. Hey Ben, Rolf Berenstein here. Well, hey there, big brother and my very favorite bean. Yo, buddy. Hey, hey Ben Feinstein, this, this is, is the Rams from Richmond Village. Hi Ben, this is Dad. Hey Ben, it's your cousin Diana. Hey Ben, this is Melissa and Malcolm and Margaret. Ben, Julie here. Sir Benjamin McGraw, this is your friend Maya. Hey Ben, you're probably crushing it right now out on the trails. Hi Ben, it's your mate from Down Under. Um, yeah, it, it's Liam. Hey Bean, this is your number one biggest fan, oldest sister Alex. I hope that you can picture all of us like lining the trail cheering you on because we are so so excited to just be witness to you chasing down your goals i know i speak for every person in your life when i say that being on your team is one of the best things that we ever get to do i hope you run fast and we're really proud of you i I'm love you. you ben love you i'm proud of you ben it was the sort of thing of like give it to the crew have them use it 
to their discretion. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, that's totally fine. It's having everyone who's there in person be, be the messenger of that too, of like, we're here, we're not giving up on you. And there's a lot of other people out there who are not giving up on you. It changed everything, you know, when I heard this. I had done this adventure to have a special story to share with all my running friends, but also it meant so much more to other people in the community. When I quit, all of my muscles in my body seized up um, and got even tighter and painful because just as Lance had told me on a previous lap, when you have decided that you're done, your body will accept it and you will stop working. This happened to me, but after I heard that recording, it reversed and every single muscle in my body totally relaxed and I felt fresh like it was day one of the hike. And we get to the bottom and Ben jogs out of the woods. He's not jogging out to be like, well guys, I'm done. He's jogging out to be like, let's get new shoes on. He did not sit down. He did not take any sort of break. He was ready to go. I just knew that if there's any hope of completing the hike, then we had to go for it 100%. It's been a, it's been a special time out here on the uh, Peru Styles Ridge. That's for sure. Yeah, everywhere. Hey, friend. Four hours from now, I, more ibuprofen. Three hours from now, more ibuprofen. Oh. It's not going to hurt. I need the hip belt. No. Yep. Thanks, guys. Right. Yep. Yeah, appreciate you. Go get him. Go get him. I'll see you down the road. Ben, where are we? We're on our way to send the last 54 miles of the long trail, beginning with a 17 mile section over Stratton. And I just got like a 10 minute nap and a massage from Lance, which is just what the doctor ordered. So, looks like we're gonna have some fun. Thanks, Prem, how are you doing? I'm excellent. We're gonna go get Sandy out there. It was just a hard night, and he and I were very driven, and we pushed 17 wet miles to Stratton, over Stratton, with just unwavering focus, and it was just one of the coolest nights I've had in a long time. The moment we left Stratton Arlington Road, it was like our life's mission to not slow down. It was very different than like our other sections of running together. Um, a lot of our other sections just got like into deep conversation, and I was like, pushing Ben emotionally and like <laughs> having him talk about things that he didn't want to talk about. And then this time it was just like, I was like just stone cold silence and just like telling him to move faster. Like I was like looking at my watch, like, okay, he needs water now. He needs this food. And I'd like choose which food to give him next. So he just didn't even have to think about it. Finally, we got to the top of the mountain and got to meet Owen, which is one of those moments that you wait for the whole hike. Glastonbury fire tower. 9.57 on Wednesday. All right. Nice. Keep going down. We got boogie. Got cool. See you down there. We'll be, we're, we're going quick. You be quick. Even though Owen shows up, I'm like, all right, well, there's the emotional boost I need. There's still a lot of miles, <laughs> and they're not easy. And so we pushed down into the gorge, and by that time, I think we were just so sure that we had the record that it didn't matter how bad it hurt. It was just going to be like a party to the finish. We knew that this was going to happen, as Ben called it, a, a victory lap. And it was just like unbelievable um, just what Ben and we pulled off. <laughs> Yeah, buddy! Over an hour, dude. Yes. Woo! You did it! Holy shit. Every time I'm discussing this, this trip, I am using the word we. We did it. We succeeded. We got the FKT. It was literally a team that crafted this success. <laughs> you fucking did it, man. <laughs>